Are you looking to get into the vending machine business? If so, this is the perfect video. These are three mistakes that I have encountered while starting my business. And the third one is a pretty big one that affected me in real time with my real money, which I will show you. So stick around to the very end. So if you're thinking about getting into the vending machine game, then go ahead and subscribe because I am just starting my vending machine business. You can follow along to a real person getting it out of the mud Boy, if you don't with real money. Like and comment to show some love. <laughs> Mistake number one is going to be not providing a good service. Many things fall under this umbrella to make sure that your product is not expiring purchasing your product r the day before you do a restock don't purchase anything in advance running out of items of course having old machines break down two is getting caught up in the legal part of your business are there necessary permitting things that you need to pay to the state sure just call uh, your city hall ask for permitting they can hook you with all the information do you need the LLC do you need a business bank account uh, yeah sure but just do it in time there's no reason for you to drop all this money on a business that's not making money yet there's not gonna be someone coming in through kicking your door down SWAT hitting you up and trying to bust you for an illegal vending machine business it's not just gonna, it's just not gonna happen so get your stuff going first start making some cash flow then make the necessary action to make your business legal now third and final mistake it's the most important one it is location 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 if your location is employee based meaning the people that are going to use your machine are the employees don't do anything under 30 to 40 employees it's just not going to be worth your time you're going to resent the location you're not going to go as often and then you're going to run into that expiring product thing Secondly, if it is traffic based, do not take the owner's word for traffic. If they're calling you trying to get a vending machine in, they're gonna say, obviously they want the vending machine. They're gonna say whatever they think you want to hear. So ask them, of course, how much traffic they think they get a week, and then ask them the busiest times of said traffic. And then go yourself. Go three, four, five days in a row to see if they're really getting traffic like that. I guarantee this will be worth your time of investment because like I said, I'm going to show you how I made this mistake with this location. This is like some kind of family cl clinic. Uh, the owner said that she had like 30 employees or whatever, and then she got up to a hundred to 250 people uh, running through there or every week, which was obviously not the case because this machine makes about $180 a month which is just there's no reason to buy a vending machine and put it in a place that's going to do 180 check out this collection from a location that i haven't collected from in over 30 days and you can make judge for yourself that this is not a good location and you want to scope out your locations as the biggest mistake in starting a new vending machine business start off with pulling my planner grant up here you can see these are the items going to be replacing put it up on the big screen so i could pull it a little easier here all the stuff the dry goods here's stuff i need to keep refrigerated and of course you got to get them drinks got it all packaged up and loaded up in the truck and we are off to sam's it was crazy because i found these m m cookies they sometimes don't have got some coke got some sprite and rang it up so they can't say i'm still in total was 41 dollars 90 cent now here's the location in question you remember my little push cart that i got for 20 bucks keeping the overhead low for, from facebook and then i probably should have did this uh in two trips it was a little heavy lift with your lower back in a jerking twisting motion and then you can see what and stack up here is the vending machine empty here are the drinks underneath this is a combo machine that are empty then here's everything full and then here is that horrible cash pool for 30 days now i went back to the trap and got this all counted up and here are all the stats i got 92 dollars in cash for over 30 days then i got 83 dollars and 25 cents in credit card readers that brings us to 175 dollars and 25 cents for the month and you already know divide that in half that is what your profit is so you're saying for a month it is only 87 dollars in profit so go ahead and subscribe and catch the next video